Over here, pretty in pink, Miss Alison Davis from Wild Time Cooking. And by the looks of it, we're you making some. Oh, <laughs> 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 we're making muffins. Of yes, sorts. we're making muffins. We are making some lemon raspberry oat muffins. Oh, yeah. So these are great for the morning, great for spring, just fresh. Yep. Um, and they're gluten free. So oh, really? we're using coconut okay. flour. Um, what I have over here is just four eggs, and I'm, I'm going to have you whisk just whisk, whisk away, whisk okay. away, whisk away. Oh, you've got, just to let everyone know, she's got eggshell in there. <laughs> well, thank you. I <laughs> needed your eye there, didn't I? Yep. Okay, so in our um, muffin mixture, we are going to add uh, coconut flour, and then we're going to add our dry ingredients, which is just baking soda and baking powder as our leavener. Do I um, just have to whip these into a like a meringue? No, you're oh. just whisking them. Oh. Mm -hmm. A touch of salt and then uh, coconut sugar. Um, so we're doing about three quarters cups of coconut sugar oh, to nice. about a cup of coconut flour. Oh, nice. And then um, you could use ground flax seed, but then I also have, um, I'm using chia seed and some oats. Oh, nice. All right, so a little bit of chia seed and oats, and so that's our dry ingredients. Yep. We've got our eggs whisked up, Do so to we're going to there? actually, I'm just going to mix the dry together real quick. See how that just kind of comes together, just well blended. Okay. And then, yes, you're going to add the eggs okay. in for me. Perfect. But you don't want to whisk them in. No, we can just start to kind of mix Fold. at this point. Yeah. And that's the good thing about gluten-free uh, baking and gluten-free products in general. You're not worried about over-mixing and them getting tough because there's no gluten. Because they're um, already tough. No, they're not <laughs> tough. They're actually not at all. All right, so now to our muffins. We're going to add some of our wet ingredients, and that's just going to have that come together. So um, I've got coconut oil, which I'm going to add roughly half a cup. Mm -hmm. And coconut oil, I have this question all the time. A lot of times is a solid form uh, when you purchase it at the store. If it is, just go ahead and pop it in the microwave or heat it up, and you want to make sure that it is liquid when you're adding it in to the muffin. Oh. Okay? So about a half a cup of the coconut oil, and coconut oil really just works as butter um, in your recipe. So it is a great replacement for butter um, and dairy in your... Um, and a much healthier option. For me it is, and the yeah. flavor is so much better. Yeah, I love the flavor. Okay. Oh, you didn't get un unflavored? Trip, you got the no, full it's, Yeah, the it's full got scale. the coconut flavor what a little was bit. That, you just that put is in. fresh vanilla. Oh, so we've I got a little vanilla. bit of vanilla, some lemon juice. Again, I love using the Santa Cruz um, mixture. And then we're going in with some vanilla almond milk. So Ooh. this is going to be a little bit more of that vanilla almond milk. I'm just checking yep. my measurement, um, believe it or not. <laughs> so we're going in with about three quarters cups of almond milk. Again, the great thing about that coconut flour is it really soaks up the liquid, but it's mm. going to be a nice decadent muffin. Really? All right, so you're mixing beautifully. And then the final thing, you I'm can... I'm a good mixer. You can mash some of these raspberries up, um, but I just like folding them in. I was going to say, I like I folding like them, them fold, in whole yeah. and just having some nice, hey, beautiful, big raspberries in your muffin. How do you feel about frozen raspberries in this? I like fresh. I feel like frozen fruit really will make your muffins more soggy and okay. just add too much liquid. Right. So I go with the fresh. So just be a little bit more gentle and we'll just kind of uh, fold those in. Yeah. And then um, I've got some beautiful little springish um, muffin cupcake liners. And then we're going to go right in with our scooper. Well, hold on. Scooper. Before you do anything, uh -huh. a good muffin maker tastes their muffins. Isn't that him? Isn't he just the little muffin man? Oh, yum. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, I could we just may eat that on suggest, its own. We may not suggest that at home since there are raw eggs in that. Oh. But <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> just for the kids' sake. <laughs> Is it uh, bad? No, oh, because we grew up. We grew up eating co chocolate chip cookies, so yeah. I'm sure. And but, cake mix. But just like, at your own risk, right? <laughs> or uh, raw eggs are bad for you? Yeah, you're not supposed that. to eat raw eggs, but we all grew up eating chocolate chip cookie dough right out of the mix. Well, so. how many people you see eating like six raw eggs they're drinking? Yeah, with? no, no. Okay. So at this point, we're going to take this, this and out. we're just going to scoop of this out. Of course, we need to cook them as well. How mm -hmm. long do you put them in the I oven I do for? about 20 minutes at 350. Perfect. Well, of course, all the recipe and information has been up on the screen whilst you're watching this. If you want any more information, you can head over to Wild Time Cooking. That's the best place to see what this one is all up to. We appreciate you, Miss Allison. Oh, likewise. And I'm telling you, it looks gorgeous. I can't wait to eat them. Maybe I'll have some for breakfast for you. Nice. Back <laughs> after this short break, everyone.